G'day, Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangaroocourtofaustralia.com. Now, I published an article on the weekend titled Seriously Corrupt Gladys Berejiklian's Lies and Crimes, Pork Barrelling, Document Shredding and Concealing Corruption. And it starts off, Gladys Berejiklian might avoid jail for her crimes, but she has been branded for life as being seriously corrupt, which is the next best thing for people who believe in public accountability for politicians. And it adds to a long list of criminal conduct by Gladys Berejiklian. Global media to report the New South Wales ICAC findings of serious corruption, but at the same time not report all of Gladys's corruption, fails to tell the full story. Berejiklian supporters are trying to make out the New South Wales ICAC findings are a one-off, and she is really an honest person, but that's a lie. Berejiklian is a major league crook who pork barreled like Nader Moriner. Government even stole from bushfire victims who badly needed the money, and many still do, to buy votes in other electorates. And in one matter, Gladys thought nothing of shredding documents and deleting files to hide her corruption. The fallout for Gladys Berejiklian of the serious corrupt findings will be life-changing, and she has a massive fight in front of her, and it won't end well. Now, the bottom line is that uh, Gladys Berejiklian pork-barrelled for a former boyfriend, Daryl Maguire, into the seat of Wagga Wagga trying to get him re-elected. But pork barrelling is basically financial fraud. It's not calling a pork barrel. Uh, makes it sound cartoonish, as someone commented. And uh, you really need to call it what it is, financial fraud. So she committed financial fraud on a massive scale. Some of the projects she was funding in Wagga Wagga are nothing but white elephants. Millions of dollars poured down the drain to try and help her boyfriend, Daryl Maguire, get re-elected. The old media, they only reported on that, on the findings of the New South Wales Independent Commission Against Corruption. They didn't report on other pork barrelling or other financial fraud. And you only have to report on a little bit and you get the full picture that this wasn't a one-off. She's a career criminal uh, committing financial fraud, lying and deceiving as part of what she's done over the last 10, 15 years as a politician. And the reason you need to uh, report on you know, all her corruption is because it really puts the findings of the New South Wales Independent Commission against corruption there. Operation Keppel report into context and it'd go a long way to stopping the clowns Peter, like Peter Dutton coming out and trying to defend her. You know, it's not a one-off situation. Peter Dutton's trying to make out she was deceived by a boyfriend. Well, a boyfriend wasn't involved in other corruption, other financial fraud she was involved in. So the old media failed to report all of Gladys' uh, corruption. You only have to report a little bit of it, and it really puts into context the current findings. But they're happy to trot out other crooks and criminals to defend Gladys Berejiklian. They trotted out Margaret Kinnean, claiming she was hard, hard done by by ICAP. But Margaret Kinnean is a career criminal herself. She's a barrister. And she was found by the Child Abuse Royal Commission to try and uh, lie and deceive and defend a pedophile, Scott Volkers. And she's also good friends with a lot of criminals, including Roger Rogerson, who's currently in jail for murder. So for Channel 9 News and the current affair to trot out Margaret Kinnean to try and defend uh, Gladys Berejiklian is absolutely scandalous. Channel 9 and the current affair should be investigated themselves to, for trying to cover up corruption. And anyone who thinks Gladys got away because criminal charges haven't been recommended against her, well, think again, would you want to change places with Gladys Berejiklian? She's going to be not well known for being seriously corrupt for the rest of her life, and nothing can change that. She can appeal to the New South Wales Supreme Court and try and get them to quash the findings of the New South Wales ICAC, but even if they were to quash it, that won't change anything, because we've all seen the video, well, not everyone, but anyone who watched it closely, we can see the video of Gladys lying and deceiving and duck and weaving. It won't change the fact that in other matters she's, uh, you know, Paul Barrel committed financial fraud, ripping off victims of the bushfires. Um, pork barrowing there. Now, I cover all that in my article I've just published, so make sure you visit the article. You'll you see all that evidence there. And you read all that evidence, it puts into context the current findings. The current findings are nothing but uh, cream on the cake. You know, she's been involved in a lot of fraud and theft over her years as Premier and also Treasurer. Now, Gladys, with her reputation, she'll help drag down others around her. She'll help drag down the Liberal Party. Peter Dutton's come out to support others in the Liberal Party have come out to support her too. Uh, all they're doing is doing damage to their own reputations and the Liberal Party. So make sure you visit my website, Kangaroo Court of Australia, and read that article. Uh, as one of the commentators said, it's one of my best. It really puts the perspective of uh, the current findings into context of Gladys Berejiklian's long history of corruption, a long history of financial fraud. And make sure you sign up for the free email subscription 
And every time I publish a new article, you can email it. You know there's a new article there to be read. And if you do sign up, uh, you'll get a confirmation email. Just click on that to confirm. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and the notification button. So every time I publish a new YouTube video, you'll be notified. I'll be publishing a few good ones this week. In Kangaroo Court of Australia's independent media, I publish a website, YouTube channel, Facebook page, and Twitter account. And I'm relying on donations to keep on publishing. So please support my Patreon account. I'm currently sitting on 251 patrons donating $1,502 a month. And I really need to double that to become financially viable. You can donate any amount, $3, 5 10 15 20 30 40 50 whatever suits your budget. It all helps out. And please share this video on Facebook and Twitter, etc. Thank you for your time and have a good day.